Falmouth Bay and the moment of truth in a 100-year search. These perforated slabs are the remnants of a steam boiler that almost certainly powered the St Ives. The trawler was sunk by a mine in World War I with the loss of all hands, her location until now unknown. Good to see it, yes, yes. I'm so glad we found it at last. It's taken a while to find it. It's such a big area to search. The St Ives was one of more than 400 trawlers pressed into service as makeshift minesweepers. We have an extremely high mortality rate, so you've got a nearly a 19% chance of dying uh, doing this work, which is higher than if you're frontline infantry. In December 1916, the St Ives hit a mine and sank. Her 11 crew, local trawlermen and naval reservists were lost. The wreck was never located. Mark Milburn and a team of divers have been searching for the St Ives for many months. One, go. They think she might be under another wreck, that of a much larger vessel, the Caroni River, an oil carrier that was hit by a mine in World War II and then blown up by the Royal Navy. This twisted metal is evidence of the huge explosion that sent the Caroni River to the seabed. And just minutes into this dive, a discovery, the distinctive end plates of exactly the type of steam boiler that would have powered the St Ives. And found among the wreckage, coal that might have fueled her. It's just nice to have found it at last. It could have taken forever. And I mean, we, we still haven't seen the whole wreck. So I'm very happy that we found it and I'm convinced that it is the St Ives. The team plans to visit the wreck site one more time to pay their last respects to the 11 who died in a bloody but forgotten chapter of the First World War. Sam Smith, BBC Spotlight.